really no such thing as friendship in the TV world. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Please subscribe to JOA TV and I'd appreciate your contribution to patreon.com forward slash JOA, JOA. Baby, as you guys all know, Jerry O'Connell, the man that is so extra, has been hired from the talk. <laughs> and as you guys do recall and do remember, I got into a Twitter beef with uh, Nichelle Turner, who is now the first woman, the first black woman to anchor a show on Entertainment Tonight along, alongside with the other black guy, uh, Kevin Frazier. And y'all remember that beef I got with her? And I still stand on my situation, my my commentary, I sh as I should say, that her hiring as the first black woman was damage control from CBS. And part of that leak that I'm about to show you, that the Daily Mile released, was a recording that justifies my statement of what I just said about Ms. Michelle Turner being hired because... Baby, a lot of these networks that appear to be left liberal are really just the comfortability that Fox News touts on a public platform on a daily basis. These liberal networks, they just do it behind the scenes against the leans. It's like... Well, it's your character. You know, this is like who you are as a person and that's so not anything. But so it was, you know what, it's CBS offering up one of their own so they don't have to make an apology. CBS didn't want to have to make him because everyone is so terrified of fanning the flames of the mob that they just went right. Let's just serve her up to our, you know, to her own team. That way we don't have to say anything. Be like, it's oh, it handled itself. That's right. You're right about yeah. that. Yeah. Because for me, I was confused. Why are we even? Yeah. When I saw when somebody texted me this tweet. I looked at it and I was confused, Sharon, because I thought somebody was quoting something you said on the show, and I go, "She didn't say that." Mm. And then they go, and then I looked more carefully, and I was like, "Oh, she tweeted that." Mm -hmm. And to me, I'm like, "That's her platform." Yeah. If I, you said that on your platform, and you have you're yeah. dealing with trolls or you're dealing with controversy, that's your business in your own mm. platform. Yeah. But why are we addressing something yeah. on the show yeah. that she didn't say on the show? Yeah. And the show, you walked this delicate tightrope where you really supported your friend, but you didn't alienate people who yeah. felt who were people of color who I thought you handled yourself really well on the show yeah. when you addressed it. I agree. Leave it at that. It should have been a statement. It should not sh it happened. It not should have would have could have, but it should have just been a statement and then move on. Yeah. Or you if know? you want to, yeah, maybe it's like, hey, Sharon, you want to comment on it? Comment on your Twitter. Let's just leave it there. So I personally feel like Sharon Osbourne was set up. And I just want to say this. Um, I know Yashar Ali, he broke the story and he did an interview with Leah Remini. And then there's just been just commentaries about a track record that Sharon Osbourne has had in the past as well with her other co-hosts and even situations outside the talk. Can I just say this? Sharon Osbourne mouth reminds me of my mouth, number one. Um, in terms of just speaking your mind and saying anything and everything. Number two, you watching me and everybody in the world would be a goddamn lie if you don't have or had ever have any prejudice type of thoughts in your mind. I certainly have. Sometimes I still do when I'm pissed off. So don't tell me you don't have it. I talk to my black barber all the time. He says, yeah, man, we all have that in our minds. It's just like I said. Like I said, and I tell you guys this all the time, these networks that are left-leaning, democratic-leaning, just let's just say left-leaning, that tout black relations stories, that tout black lives matter stories, it's all symbolic, which means that they're doing it for clicks and they're doing it for ratings, just like they did with the situation with Sharon Osbourne at the talk. But behind the scenes against the lean, they have these discrimination issues. You know, ABC had a big discrimination issue. They just got rid of that damn president after 18, 19 years. He said he quit. They got rid of Barbara Fredita, who called Sonny Hudson low rent. And then the chick that looked like she off to the magic school bus, Hillary Stay McLaurin, ended up leaving the show as well. So when I said that Michelle Turner actually got hired because of damage control, I am not minimizing 
her talent. I am not minimizing her capabilities. I am just saying CBS as a network, I feel, and what this guy just said, one of the people on that was talking in the clip, uh, I believe that was Jack Osborne. I believe that Sharon Osborne's son was saying that CBS was just doing damage control. I'm paraphrasing the damage control part, but he was he basically was saying they were saving their asses by not apologizing for the setup that they did to Sharon Osborne. And baby Elena Ritteroth, her her last name sound like um broth stew or like broth soup, lentil soup. Like to me, is you're you're saying one thing on the air. Like you're, you're, you're saying, I don't think you are a racist or I don't feel you're a racist. And then you also on the first day you guys came back after being off a long hiatus, you know, you're bashing the lady saying you didn't listen. She didn't listen. And uh, her as a biracial woman or a black woman and uh, Cheryl Underwood as a black woman had to put themselves in a calm position because as black people, you are catered to being analyzed during extreme situations. Okay, I understand that. I understand as a black person or as a person of color, you have to handle yourself in these situations because we are not treated the same as the counterpart of the white person. I understand. But what I highly disagree with her and I highly disagree the fakeness of this part, which is the reason why I started this video saying that there's no true, shrimp, true sh friendship in the TV world. You on this IO leak is saying that you don't think Sharon Osbourne is a racist. But in these damn clips that has been displayed and throughout the whole world that has been displayed to, you are saying something opposite. Your messaging is, is the opposite. And so in the clip that leaked out by Daily Mail as well, also, you're saying Cheryl Underwood had your back behind the scenes. But in reality, behind the scenes really don't much matter because in front of the scenes matters as well. The two matters as well because this has went not nationally. This has went internationally. OK, this went on a global level. And in a way, you guys are from the messaging that you guys displayed on that show on TV talk is that this woman is a racist, you know, and y'all been friends for a long time. Sharon Underwood, you've been her friend for a long time. And even on the Steve Harvey show, you said that you heard some things about her. I didn't hear nothing out of your mouth that says that you know she's not a racist. I didn't even hear anything out of your mouth on other platforms that said that you don't think she's she's not a racist. All I heard was that you heard some bad things about her. But I'm going to say this again. We'd all be liars. We'd all be liars if we don't have any type of just thoughts in our mind that's really not supposed to be in our minds in terms of certain races, certain people of color, you'd be lying to me if you never had those thoughts or still don't. Let's just be, let's just be real. I personally said that she was set up. I felt that she was set up. I mean, this is not the first set up situation that happened at the talk. You know, they talked about the N word and they gave it to Carrie Ann Anaba. Baby, I know Carrie Ann Anaba was so happy. She was not there that, that day. And so I always have said that the show, the talk was the loser show compared to the view. They lacked ratings. They were trying to get on their level. And so when you are a show that focuses on one thing and then you want to do an entirely different spin on your presentation, it's not going to fall through the way you wanted it to fall through. The ratings happen for the talk, but the fall through of it all was not good for the hosts that are actually the essentially the brand of the show currently. So um, Sharon Osbourne had the right to tweet what she tweeted, whatever it was. I don't defend Piers Morgan. I mean, but he has a right to his opinion. Um, do I think she could have handled it differently? Yes, because she had control over that. She had control about it handling differently. But what I do feel like is CBS know that the woman is kind of neurotic and she would flip out the way she flipped out. Hell, even in the leaked clip by the Daily Mail, Elaine Ritteroff even said that this is going to go left. So, I mean, like I said, um, we need Sharon Osborne's. We need the Piers Morgan's. We need the Megan McCain's. We need the JOA's. We need people on TV that are outspoken, that are actually real. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I, I was disappointed about Sharon Osbourne's track record of, of 
I don't know. It's just some things, especially how she treated an Iranian lady. But at the same time, I'm, I'm also questioning the integrity of the story now because the journalist that did that story is Yashar Ali. OK, and there is a whole profile of him uh, being talked upon by celebrities. And it's very weird. Even Kathy Griffin had to kick his ass out out of her home, allegedly, because he was a different person than what he perceived to be. Because she wanted him to um, write a story or piece on her after the whole situation with the Trump head that came out. But anyways, y'all, one thing that stands facts on facts is that nobody really friends in the TV world, okay? <laughs> this is why I don't give a damn about these damn celebrities. I don't. I go along to get along. I be cordial sometimes. I send tweets here and there saying, you know, I'm a fan. <laughs> but I don't believe in the whole friendship thing. I don't because I'm real. I keep it real. And so when I'm going to have to state my opinion on you, like, this is why I have to win Wendy Williams. This is why. Because she's right with that. It's either you're for the industry or you tell the damn truth. And I choose to tell the damn truth. Deuces! Yay!